Bubble Busters! My name is Hikari, and I am a housewife that lives with her husband and daughter. We live in an apartment building, and I have a lot of mom friends that are close to my age. Our children are also close in age, so we like to spend time together. Even in a world of moms, there tends to be a boss-like figure. Minami, who lives in the same apartment building, is bossy, and the other moms have a hard time standing up to her. Hikari, are you free for lunch tomorrow? Yes, I am! There's a new sushi restaurant nearby, and although it's high-end, they have an all-you-can-eat menu. All-you-can-eat? Sounds great! So, shall we go there together tomorrow? You can drive, so take me with you. It's close by, so shouldn't we just cycle there? Please, I prefer to go by car. Take me to that nice sushi restaurant. Don't say it like you want to be swept away to some magical place. Okay then, see you tomorrow. I didn't understand why Minami wanted to go by car so much, but I was looking forward to eating sushi, so I didn't give it much thought. So, Minami, why do you have such a large backpack with you? Minami had a big hiking backpack with her. No reason. Let's eat. Haha, <laughs> you're set on eating a lot today, huh? True to her word, Minami ate a lot of sushi. It's an all-you-can-eat, but shouldn't she slow down a little? I'm a little embarrassed to be seen with her. I love this fatty tuna. It's so smooth, I can almost drink it. Wow, you're really keeping the pace. We both really enjoyed the meal. As we were about to leave the restaurant, Minami said to me, I'm going to use the restroom. You can wait for me in the car. So I did as she said. Several minutes later, Minami got into my car. You were longer than I expected. Was the restroom occupied? Or did you get a stomachache from all that sushi? Yeah, something like that. She's acting a little strange. After that day, Minami asked me out to lunch often. And for some reason, she always asked me to pick her up by car. I'm not her go-to driver, so there were days that I declined her invites. After I had declined a couple times, I received an angry line message from Minami. I'm mad that you keep on declining my lunch invites. Who do you think you are? Um, a princess. Don't be stupid. I'm not going to ask you out ever again. I didn't mind because I didn't like her that much anyway. I also didn't like her bad manners at the restaurant. If she isn't going to ask me out anymore, good riddance. In addition to not asking me out to lunch, Minami began to ignore me blatantly. Why would she be so mad just because I didn't go to lunch with her? She has such a short temper, and a short fuse. One day, one of my mom friends, Midoriko, who lived in the same building, came over to talk to me. Midoriko was shy and quiet, and I liked that she was nice. Hikari, I don't mean to pry, but has Minami been ignoring you lately? Actually, she has. Is it that obvious? I'm not too concerned, though. Did you decline the lunch invites from Minami? In fact, I did. How did you know? The other day, Minami asked me out for some sushi. Oh, that all-you-can-eat place? Yes, and she told me to pick her up by car. She said the same thing to me. Why does she want us to drive her when the restaurant is so close by? Maybe she weighs so much that she can't walk. At the restaurant, Minami ate like a pig. And then, she used the restroom before we left. She did the same with me. She didn't come out for a long time, so I went looking for her. Then, I saw that she wasn't using the restroom. She was inside the storage room where they keep the fresh fish, and she was stealing their fish. Stealing? You mean the big fish that weighs so much? Yes! She took the fish and put them into plastic bags and then her backpack! I saw her! The mystery was now solved. Minami had that huge backpack with her so that she could steal the restaurant's fresh fish! She asked us to drive her because she couldn't carry all that heavy fish on her own! She must have taken so much! When I caught her stealing, she saw me watching her. She said to me, Don't mention this to anyone. If you do, 
I'll make sure that you won't be able to live in your apartment anymore. She has some nerve. She's the criminal here. I wanted to speak to you about this because I knew that you could be trusted. Thank you for telling me. We have to do something about this. I couldn't forgive her for stealing, but I was also mad about the fact that she used me to Rico and I. On top of that, she's been bullying and blackmailing us both. Minami, we won't forgive you for what you did. Trouble busters! Midoriko and I gathered a few of our close mom friends and told them about what happened with Minami. It turned out that no one liked her. Minami was bossy, selfish, and rude. But they didn't want to be bullied for standing up to her, and so they chose to deal with her instead. So basically, Minami was asking out people that have cars and using them as drivers so that she could steal food at the restaurants. We found out that there were many others that had been asked by Minami to drive her to places. So Minami would eat as much as she could at the restaurants and then steal their food too. We didn't want to remain friends with her, but we were scared that she'd start blackmailing us if we didn't. I was getting sick of her asking me out to lunch so much. Plus, I didn't want to waste my money going to lunch with someone that I dislike. I had no idea that there were so many victims. She's so harmful. We need to get rid of her. We decided to cooperate with the other moms and came up with a plan to get back at Minami. Hello, Minami. I'm sorry that I haven't been able to go out to lunch with you these days. Do you think that your apology will be accepted this late? I'm really sorry that I've been so unsociable lately. I feel bad, so would you allow me to take you out to lunch sometime? Your treat? As soon as I said that I would be treating her to lunch, she jumped at the idea. Damn this woman. Yes, I'm planning to invite our other friends too and go to that sushi restaurant. I'll pick you up by car and I will pay for the lunch too. Well, if you insist, I'll have to say yes. I couldn't believe that Minami had ignored me for so long and now she was acting like nothing had happened. How selfish and stupid of her. <laughs> At the lunch, Ramita Rico, myself, and some mom friends that knew the truth and some others that had no idea what was going on. As usual, Minami couldn't stop stuffing herself with food. Her mouth is like a Dyson vacuum cleaner. Once we had finished eating, Minami said, I need to use the restroom, so please go ahead without me. But Ikari, please wait, since you're my ride home. And she headed for the restroom as usual. This was it. I told everyone about our plan and what Minami had been doing, and they were all shocked. But after a while, they accepted the situation as something someone like Minami was capable of. A few minutes after Minami had left for the restroom, we heard a voice from the back of the restaurant. What are you saying? We went to see what was happening, and we saw Minami arguing with the staff of the restaurant. Why do I have to pay $2,000? It's the cost of your meal today, and the cost of all the fish you stole from us up until today. Stole? What are you talking about? Don't deny it. We know that you stole our fish the last time that you were here, and today too. I don't know what you're talking about. You're making this all up. If you're not going to confess, I'll have no choice but to. The door of the storage room opened, and a police officer entered the room. I'm arresting you for theft. What? I didn't steal anything. Okay, let me check what's inside your backpack then. Inside Minami's backpack was lots of fish. This is all a big misunderstanding. This backpack is magical, and it's connected to the ocean. That's why there are fish in my bag. You're not a witch. You can't use magic. Even if your backpack was connected to the ocean, it doesn't make sense that you have sashimi in there. Why was Minami suddenly arrested by the police? It's because the day before, Midoriko and I visited the sushi restaurant and informed the staff that our friend was stealing from them. The staff had noticed that someone had taken the fish from their storage room, but they didn't know who the thief was. I then told them that we would be visiting the restaurant with the thief the following day and asked them to call the police beforehand so that we could catch Minami red-handed. That's why we were able to arrest Minami on the spot. Hikari, help me, please. They seem to think that I stole from them. Well, it's true, isn't it? We saw the fish in your backpack. Can you please tell them that I'm innocent? We're friends, aren't we? Actually, we're not. 
I didn't listen to Minami and left the rest to the people working at the restaurant and the police. The other moms who had been watching everything were horrified. From what I gather, Minami won't be able to boss anyone around anymore. We also found out that Minami had been stealing from other restaurants. All the stores that had been targeted demanded that Minami pay them back for all the damages. She was also charged for theft and found guilty. Once Minami moved out of the building, we were all so happy. We no longer had the fear of being bossed around. With Minami now gone, the rest of us go out to lunch regularly and have a great time together. If Minami hadn't been so selfish and evil, she wouldn't have been arrested. Just because she has a huge appetite doesn't make it right for her to steal. We were all appalled by Minami's greed and terrible manners. But because of that, she's gone now, and we feel lucky that we don't have to deal with her anymore. Trouble Busters!